Good morning, my dear friends. How are you today? I hope you are all fine despite the current situation that we have. Today, we will be talking about love. But before that, let me ask you this. Have you ever realized that there are times that your love cup is low? Okay, my dear friends, before we continue, May I ask you to please click the subscribe button and of course click the notification bell so that you will be updated whenever there are new videos like this. So as I have said, we will be talking about love, specifically the steps to filling the love cup. When you realize your love cup is low, its contents being displaced by other emotions, you have to try these steps, my dear friends. First, you have to do a reality check. Admit that you are low. The contents of your love cup will fluctuate depending upon life circumstances you often can't control. So there is nothing wrong with being low. Staying there is the problem. That's when you slip into self-preservation mode and withdraw by becoming depressed or begin to deal with others in an unloving way by acting out your negative emotions. Okay? Next, remember, you have an action choice. You have the power to refill an empty love cup including your own but it won't happen naturally the natural reaction is to act out your feelings to treat people as you feel they richly deserve to be treated the loving reaction is to treat people according to their needs if they need recognition give it to them if they need attention, give it to them. If they need security, you have to give it to them. None of these behaviors comes naturally. That's why love that is not reciprocated is always a choice. That's why God has commanded us to love one another. Third is, identify the emotion that is threatening your love cup. What negative emotion or emotions are trying to force love out of your life? Anger? Bitterness? The more specific you can be, the more quickly you can plan your defense strategy. Once you have identified the troublesome emotion, admit what you are experiencing. Say, I am sad or I am jealous. Taking ownership of your emotions is the first step in giving yourself permission to do something about them so you can act rationally, independent of your emotions. Don't fall into the trap of blaming someone or something else for your negative feelings. You own your feelings and therefore, you are responsible for them. If your husband walks out the door with a beautiful lady and leaves you with uh, three kids, you're going to feel rejected. That's understandable. But you don't have to entertain feelings of rage, bitterness, envy, and revenge. That is your choice. And you shouldn't try to escape responsibility for what you're feeling by blaming him. Just because your dad died in the traffic accident, for example, when you were driving and you're overcome by guilt, you can blame the accident for your feelings. If you will plateau at the level of blaming situations or others, you will halt the healing process. If you blame others 
you will not take the personal responsibility necessary for dealing with troublesome emotions. Okay, next, fourth, not every problem needs to be handled immediately. Tackle your negative emotions immediately but not necessarily your problems. In fact, most problems are handled better after you gain control, after your love cup gets refilled. No amount of ranting and raving can put the vase back together again. No amount of pouting or spouting can stop the rumors. If you feel ready to explode with words and actions guaranteed to empty someone else, you need to move immediately to the fifth step. And what is the fifth step? Take positive action to refill your own cup of love. You cannot fill others uh, from an empty cup. Therefore, it is essential that you learn ways to fill yourself with feelings of contentment and pleasure when there's no one around to give you a quick fix. Take time for a word of prayer. Contact the master cup filler. Contact a family member or friend who makes you feel warm inside. Force yourself to reach out and do something loving for someone, anyone, and you will feel better. Call time out and pleasure yourself. Breathe deep and get some exercise. Any of these things will help. When I'm really low, I will try them all. So that's all my dear friends. I hope you learned something today from this sharing specifically on how we shall refill our love cup when it is low. So to sum it up, these are the five steps to refilling the love cup. First is do a reality check. Second is Remember that you have an action choice. And the third is identify the emotion that is threatening your love cup. We have also number four. Not every problem needs to be handled immediately. And number five, my dear friends, is take positive action to refill your own cup of love. So that's it. We are done with the sharing. So once again, my dear friends, this is Teacher Julie Joy Santos and I am asking you to support my channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and God bless everyone.